Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you all how you can connect your NADN agent right inside your Slack channel and chat using threads. I'll walk you through two simple methods and trust me the second one seems to be the best way to do it. I'll show you how you can not just send text but also voice messages in your Slack channel that gets passed right inside your agent. So without any further delay, let's get started. Alright, so this is one of the AI agent which is like a creative agent that I've created. So I've made a separate video on that where I've used Slack to, you know, do the entire communication so I can just I chat using threads to the specific agent so I'm gonna be showing you all uh, you know about how I did this connection but if you want to know about this agent I've made a separate video on that that you can check for link in the description all right so now back to this video so I'm gonna be using like a fresh simple agent and like a complex one like this to show to show the you know how we can connect so I'll say add node go to slack so now I just gotta click on on any event in, and now I'll, oh sorry not any event it, it is going to be like bot app mention so like i said it's going to be two methods the first is going to be like bot app mention like while we tag the bot so the second use case is going to be like without tagging the bot sometimes because i really personally felt annoying to each time you know tag the bot and call it instead of we could just rather type the message and if the bot could reply that would be great right so if you want to know about that method i'm just skip to that, that specific timestamp. So now coming back, so I've already added the Slack account connection. So now I'm just gonna be creating a new one. So now this is basically my uh, workspace. And now here is the link where you can just come to create a new app. So it's api.slack.com slash apps. So you could come here, you could say, you could create a new app from scratch and maybe I'll give it a name, YouTube Slack workspace this is only one that i've got so now we've created this specific app over here and now we can just go to what and permissions to enable some permissions so now over yeah over here under scopes you could select the first one then we've got channel dot read so you could just exactly select the way that i'm selecting channels dot john So just make sure to just select all of these permissions and if you want to do some actions beyond this uh, you know these permissions these scopes just make sure to select those scopes so now you've added it now you can just so once you've added the permissions uh, you can just go to, to install app over here and then just click on install to your workspace so now you can say allow and now it has just created the bot user token so you can just copy it and go back to the connection I'll and over here i'll just say youtube i'll just paste it save so i've pasted it and created the connection so now we, you can see that the youtube tutorial has been connected so now you can just select the channels that you wanted to uh, you know monitor or or you can maybe i can just create a new channel over here so so you can click on add channel create a new channel i'll give it this is going to be public i'll create so once I've created this, now I just want to add my uh, app that we just created. So the name of the app would be YouTube Slack. So I'll just search for, oh, here it is, YouTube Slack. And I'll just say hi or something. And now the app should just get added over here. So now the app has been added. So now we can try to send the trigger to uh, make. So before that, we got to copy the webhook. So I'll copy the test one for now. So I'll say save. I'll go back to the Slack apps right here. And you can see some way where's that event subscription. So under event subscription, you got to enable this and now add the endpoint. Oh, I think, but yeah, now it gives an error because I've not in, you know, executed this. So once you paste the link, it is going to like send it. It's going to ping the webhook and check if it is, uh, you know, active or not. So now I can come back and say retry. Now it says verified because the trigger has been uh, successfully received on an add-in from the slack node so now we can subscribe to bot events and i think i've mentioned bot uh, app mention so i can just select this and i think i could just say save changes so now we've got now we can just send messages so i'll go back to here and i'll just select the channel so i just created a new channel called youtube tutorial so i'll just select that one and now i'll just say execute workflow and tr just try to send a message I'll say hi, how are you? Now we'll go back here. And you can see that we received that message. Hi, how are you? So that's it. So now we received the trigger. So now we can pass this information right inside our agent. So I'll say define below. Like the message right inside. And after that, now we can just send a reply back to Slack go to slack and i'll say send a message 
so now the connection is going to be youtube tutorial and i'll say send message to channel and the name of the channel is going to be youtube tutorial again and the message we just received from the agent node well it shows error because i need to send a trigger again i believe so i'll delete it and say execute workflow go back here select youtube slack again and just send a random hi so now it is successfully executed. Now I just got to map the response of the assistant and enter right here. So now I'll say execute workflow once again, go back here. I've sent hi, how are you? It is going to reply me back and it just replied, hello, I'm doing great. Thank you. How can I assist you today? So yeah, that is it. So this is how we basically connect. So now if you want to get rid of this annoying tagline right here, you just got to go back here into this specific part and just then say, select include link to workflow turn this off and now we should be good so now i'll try to send a message again and we should receive a response without that this specific so now i'm going to send it oops i just forgot to turn this on so now i'll send this message again and we should have received the response you see without without this specific tag so that is it and the next one okay as of 2024 the president of united states is joe biden okay so now so now we've connected this one next i'll show you all how you can respond in threads and after that i'll show how you can add voice notes so now i'll show you all how you can add the threads so now what you got to do is go to send message and add an option and you got to select reply to a message and then paste this expression that i'll be giving you all so you can find that in the description and you could just enable this and say reply to this thread so now what would happen is whatever messages we send it is going to reply as a thread so now we can also add a memory so that it is going to have like a contact it is going to have a context of the message that we are sending it so over here we're going to paste in the same expression so i'll say save and i'll go back here so you can see i just sent a message right now so it just replied me saying hello sanjay i'm doing well thank you how can i assist you today all right so i was sending in this request to the bot and and it wasn't responding me and then i realized that i totally forgot that i gotta you know mention or tag the bot and then only would respond and once i mentioned the bot it just responded to me instantly so i totally forgot that so that's why i don't like the fact that we gotta tag or mention the bot each time while we want to uh, talk with it so that's why in the later part in the next part of the video i'll show you all how you can message this bot without you needing to tag it each time so i'll show in the next part so for now this works i'll do an another test so now let us uh, you know make this scenario into production so right now it is on test to make it to production you just gotta go here go click on this one production url copy it and then just turn on this scenario once you turn it on you can go back to the apps right here and then you could say change and paste in the link that we just copied and just make sure that the scenario is turned on then only would just say verified and then you could just you could just say save changes and now i'll just do another test on youtube tutorial and you can have a look youtube and you can just and i'm saying hi how are you my name is john and it was replied back to me so now i can go inside this thread and say and maybe ask it like what's my name and it should reply so you gotta tag it again well yeah as simple as that so this is how you can like create threads and chat right inside your agent so now i'm going to show you all how you can chat with this agent without simply tagging the agent for, for each time you want to send it a message so i'm going to show you all how you can do that for that the trigger is going to change so for that i'm just going to say like new message posted to channel so this is going to be the trigger so once we set up the trigger here i'll say save now we got to go back over here and then you know add a bot event to search for message and you could see message dot channels just click on it and delete the old one if you don't want to tag it anymore and then just say save changes and now we can just reinstall the app again as the permissions are kind of changing and yet yeah, now it, it should be live so now i think we should be able to send message without a pain you know tagging it again and again so i could say hi how are you but you gotta make you know note one thing in mind which is you got we got to set up a filter so you got you can see that the trigger is like whenever a new message is posted to a channel so even if we are sending a message the message is still posted to, to the channel and that could also act as a trigger and this could if you don't set up a filter this could lead to unlimited amount of loop and keep iterating and keep sending messages again and again and again and i think it, it could maybe make your agent run unlimited amount of time 
which is gonna waste you a lot of money so just set up the filter just like how i tell you or else it is just gonna create that loop so i could show you a demo so i'll just gonna i'm just gonna send hi how are you i think it should create a loop by now so it is gonna reply back to me and then again it is gonna reply back to that message and create that loop okay so i can see that, like there's a small error i'll say debug in editor so there's gonna be like a small change in the mapping when while using this method so i can just directly map this text over here and i'll say save so i'll get send the message again go to executions it has sent me the message you see i think it is it is continuously sending message like i said to you it's gonna be like an unlimited amount of loop so i think the ai itself is kind of telling like we're just going around circles right so i'm gonna go go back into the nrn and then turn off this specific scenario so that the loop just stops so the solution for that is to add a filter and ignore the message ignore the message that comes from the bot so you could see in this scenario that i've added a filter saying that if it comes from the bot just ignore it does not exist so we're just making sure that this one does not exist and now i can just connect back so if it does not exist then only it would, it would proceed so i'll say save turn it on again and now i'm gonna try it again hi how are you and i hope it doesn't create that loop again and you could also add a filter saying that this one exists so now hopefully there wouldn't be any sort of looping. I'll say hi, how are you? I'll go to the thread, I'm Sanjit. Your name is Sanjit, how can I help you further? You see, now there's no need for me to tag the agent again and again, which I felt really annoying. So this is basically the idea for this one, guys, because just make sure that the filter is set up correctly so that it don't, don't create, doesn't create that unlimited loop. And now, lastly, I'll be showing you all how you can create a voice note in your Slack channel. So that is going to be the end. After that, download this one. So you could find this down in the description in case you want to use it. So now I'll just go back and try to send a voice note. Hey, how's it going? Not sure if it used the right microphone. So you can see the voice note has errored out because we've not set up the flow for that. So I'll click on it and click on debug and editor. And so now we just got to add a switch case in between to determine whether it is a voice or a text message. So I'll just go to the previous flow and just copy it from there, paste it. So if the first one exists, it means that it is basically a a voice message so now we gotta download that voice message and keep in mind that you just cannot directly download this link so this is the download link you cannot just download it because you need permissions like you gotta be locked in so if i try to download it here it would but if i try to open the incognito tab and try to download it it wouldn't it would try to it would ask me to sign in to the slack and then you know download it so for that we need permissions so again for that we can just use a http request and it might need the authentication so now i can just paste in let's execute so now i can just map url private download and for authentication now i just got to select predefined credentials so right now we i think before we've added the credentials here right youtube tutorial so you should be able to find that while you search for that first you can select slack slack api and now youtube tutorial this has been selected and that is it so now if you try to download it should get downloaded you see it has given the voice message and then it is going to be simple you just got to use the transcribe node from chat gpt or maybe any other transcription service so this one is pretty easy but you know we need authentication like how i said you to uh, download that voice note and once you downloaded that voice note you could just pass it straight inside chat gpt you could say data because the previous one is data and now if i run it it should just return me hey how's it going hey how's it going you see that is it so now this can be mapped straight into our agent and the agent says hey how's it going and now if it is a text message you could just directly put it inside this one i think there's no need for i think this is good let me give it a test now let's see save go back here and now i'll just try to send a message i'll try to send a text message now hello again sanjit how can i assist you today hey can you just tell me what is one plus one I've just sent it the message. Sure, one plus one equals two. That's great. So you see, I'm able to send voice message and text message simultaneously. You see, so that is it. So this is how you send voice message and text message to from Slack to your agent directly. So I think that is it for this video, guys. And also, I think you can queue, you can, for example, so let's say that you want to chat inside each, each threads individually. So like you don't want the threads 
reply of the threads to appear over here you can maybe queue the slack http request a try like i can show that to you all maybe if you want to try it so now i'll disconnect this one connect it with this one so i gotta change the credentials i believe i gotta change the youtube tutorial and i guess i also gotta change the channel id so i'll go back here and get the id of this channel copy so you gotta enter your channel id here so I'll, again if you want to access to this blueprint it is free down in the description so now the json.output and i think everything else seems good so now i've used the http node and i'll just say save and go back here and i'll just start a new thread and once i start it it wouldn't be replying me you know for each message back in the channel and you could see that i just sent it a hi and it it just replied me right inside threads it never you know replied me back in the channel while using this http node so if you want to do if you want like this if you want it like this if you don't want the other uh, messages to appear back in in the you know channel you can use the http request i'm sure there's a workaround to achieve that in this as well but you know so i'd also recommend you stick with this http node because i noticed that it doesn't send like multiple requests back to this webhook so you get me so one message you send is gonna like trigger three or four times this webhook because like i said you this filter is the one that blocks it so anyways, so we've connected voice, we've seen two different methods, how you can connect it to your agent and send back replies. So you can either use this or this, you can just import the blueprint and then just, you know, replace your uh, agent instead of this one right here. All right, guys, that's it for this video. So I'm sure like this is the method that I've used for myself. And that's what I've just showed you all. So I'm sure like Slack is like kind of very big and there are a lot of topics in Slack. So if you've got any doubts related to this topic that I made on this video, free to let me do it down in the comments and thank you so much once again and cheers